Hey, it's Fern again, and in this video I want to talk all about dog play styles. Alright, so you got some dogs and you want them to play together, but they don't seem to want to play together, they don't kind of get along right, what's appropriate play, maybe you're concerned whether this is too much, is this too hard? A lot of people I find, they think that they're, they're really shocked at how rough dog play is and they're trying to you know, determine, is this friendly, is this cool? Um, so you want to, one thing, dogs do play pretty rough. They are full contact players, they like to get their uniforms dirty, they're a lot of mouthing and biting kind of each other, and, and they're really full contact. Every dog has a different play style though, and it's very important that we match up play styles that are similar, you know. So not every dog is going to play with every other dog, and just like I don't play with every person, I don't, I don't get along with every other person just because we just don't click for some reason. Other dogs will find those playmates, and it's usually dogs that are around their same energy. So if you have one dog, kind of his energy level is here, and the other, this crazy dog with the energy here, they're not going to play together because this guy's going nuts, and he, this, it's overwhelming to this other dog. So you've got to find the play styles that kind of match. So you'll have two dogs will play each other, these two dogs will play each other, but this dog will never play with this dog because um, they just don't match up well. So. Finding that perfect match is is the the key, you know. So look for energy levels that are, are the same. Size doesn't so much matter. This a big dog can play with a little dog. It's more the energy that they play with. Um, and when you're when you're looking at play and you're wondering if it's appropriate or not, you always look for role reversals. You know, one on top, the other one on top. You chase me, I chase you. A lot of role reversals means it's healthy play. If one dog's always the, the being chased or one dog's always on top, then you could have some issues. So we can't have that. So I got some videos here for some play styles that I want you to check out that will give you some examples of this. All right, let's take a look at some play styles because, I mean, every dog, I mean, dogs play very differently. So take a look at these two little fluff balls. They are just having a great time. They're playing. And when you're looking at dogs playing to, you know, to determine if it's appropriate or not, what you want to look for is lots of role reversals. Okay, one dog on top, then the other dog on top. You chase me, I chase you. If one dog is always on top pinning the other dog or always the, the, the aggressor, then you know you may have some some possible conflicts to, to come up, um, but these guys are having a great time. They're they're doing lots of role reversals, but they play in a specific style. You know it's very the um, you know, dogs play very full contact. But uh, in contrast, take a look at these two, the beagle and the and the and uh, the puggle. These guys play very rough, much different play style. They're very mouthy. They're they're doing very inappropriate things like biting ears and holding on to jowls. But for these two. They're happy with it and they're fine. So this is definitely appropriate play. Some people think it's too rough, but this is fine. These are two dogs having a great time. It's just a different play style than the two little fluff balls who are, who are still playing full contact, but it is much milder. And they're, they're really not uh, doing a lot of holding on or grabbing. or It's not as full contact. You know, it's not as, uh, as assertive or physical. It's still physical. Dogs play physically, but it's, it's, you know, it's much different. The thing is that you know dogs are going to match up with play styles that they feel comfortable with. So the beagle would never play with one of those two fluff balls because they're they're not going to play with a dog like that. He's way too over their head. He's too rough for them. Um, so dogs will be attracted to their kind of energy level and play style, and they probably won't play. So even though all four of these dogs that I'm highlighting here are playful, if you move remove the the, the beagle and one of the fluff balls, the puggle and the other fluff ball would not play with each other because they have, their styles are too different. They're too different, they would never play with one another. So they're gonna find, they're gonna match up with similar play styles, but all of that is appropriate play. So there you have it, some cool play stuff. Look like fun, huh? And you can see the contrast between the two different pairs of dogs, how they play. And they're all playing rough, but the energy level is very different between both sets of dogs. All right, so go out, set up some play dates, go have some fun, make sure everyone's having a good time and playing appropriately. And uh, if you want more information on dogs and stuff that I do, head over to MakeDogsYourLife.com, and I'll see you again real soon.